biology behind soil structure is really, really important. And uh, uh, the example here is, is uh, as I came in today, we were, we were looking at some fields right, right next to, well, right next to town here. So it's right in my backyard. Pulled some samples, brought those in, and, and we're going to look at that soil structure here today very quickly. One of these samples is, is actually a, uh, a, a no-till field that's been no-till for almost uh, 20 years now. It's been in a corn, soybean, wheat rotation with a cover crop after that. Um, and it has some, some really interesting uh, characteristics, but also visually it's, it's, it's really pretty interesting. In turn, that the clod that you have over there is the uh, same soil. It's an Ennett soil. Uh, just across the fence down the road, kind of really interesting to me. It's been in a corn soybean rotation um, for probably the last 15 years. It actually had wheat in it before that. Uh, been uh, really a conventionally tilled, and conventionally tilled around here is, is using a vertical tillage tool. Uh, this is a sulfur in the spring, um, but uh, structurally looks a lot different. Does not have uh, the cohesiveness that we actually see, that aggregate stability that we see. Maybe we should immerse these clouds and just see what kind of differences we end up with here. Let's so, do it. All right. Immediately what we're going to end up with is we're going to see the, the uh, air come out of that cloud. The water is going to be rushing in. But at some point, immediately, you're actually going to see that, that, that uh, those polysaccharides, those little glycoproteins are missing in that, in that conventionally tilled sod they, or that soil. They, they've been mineralized, uh, oxidized. And because of that, they just, it just really just falls apart. Um, that raindrop impact, impact on that soil surface will uh, um, really dissipate that surface, really start to move that, that soil surface around. And as Dr. Tom was talking about before, really start to plug some of our, our, uh, our macropores, uh, intermediate pore sizes within that, that, that matrix, and really increase runoff. Huge difference. And this, this has everything to do with people saying, well, this, you know, you know I can't do this no-till thing. Well, that first year no-till, they don't have any soil structure. It's super saturated in that surface. It's a mucky mess. Um, they can't get planted, and guess what? It doesn't work. Guess what? It's all about soil structure. Let's why, don't do we, why don't we do that? Okay. We'll put the uh, uh, trays up on top here right. and basically add water to this demonstration. Ready, set, go.